Hi everybody, I'm Sam here and I am so excited to have some lovely, wonderful, I'm going to say trim craft goodies because that's what you will all know it as being and it used to be my what's in the box videos. Trim craft have now changed their name, so they are now known as Craft Label and I will link their website below. So under the, the brand Craft Label will be all of the names that you're familiar with, so Dovecraft, First Edition, Simply Creative, Nova, You've got Spin, which is their yarns. Uh, there's lots more as well. There's something about having the Trimcraft stuff. It was like a big hug when the parcel landed through my door. And um, the guys are just so lovely. And yeah, I, I, would, I would hate to not be able to work alongside them. So what I thought I would do is show you, I've got piles all around me. And um, as always, I'm, ex I'm so you know thankful for what they send me. And this is now, it's like the proper kickstart to my Christmas because I want to work a lot of this with my product. So my lovely stamps, I, I've already got some kind of plans on how I want to do this. And I'm going to do some just trim craft only ones as well. So just make some lovely, you know, projects just using this collection, for example, and so on. Now, if you watch this video at the end, I will have a really nice discount code for you. So hold on for that. I'll go through all the, the, the gumph that goes alongside that. But first of all, let's get into the first collection. So this one here is, or what they've sent me actually, because I don't have full collections of everything, but this is Winter Sparkle. Now, if you have been a fan of Dovecraft for some years, you would have probably remembered the Happy You collection. It's basically that, but Christmified. <laughs> It's, it's just been turned into a Christmas collection. It's beautiful, it's so lovely. So first of all, if we go through all of the accessories, so you've got these wonderful little frames. How cute are they? Now I've kept it in the plastic because they're loose inside, So, but hopefully there's not a lot of glare there anyway. So they're not self-adhesive, so you just add a little bit of glue to the back of them, but this one has that lovely rose gold with the snowflake detail there, and you get eight frames in that pack. Then you've got these ones here, these are very pretty. So you get two wooden shapes and they've got little hearts on them. There we go, if I just bring that up there and you should be able to see the little hearts either end. Isn't that adorable? And again, you could pop that in the middle of that frame. That's sweet. So you get two wooden shapes in that one. Then you've got these ones here. So you, this one you get six wooden shapes and these are deer heads. Yeah, if I just bring it up, can you see? Oh, cute are they very different so you get six of them and you can easily pop some foam tape on the back of them then you've got buttons really really nice get loads in there actually you get 60 buttons um, in the rose gold then you get the bows these are actually the same ones I believe that when they done the happy you collection so they've just brought them out again 16 mini bows and I did use them a lot and they're that nice dinky size um, a lot of bows when I hand made them they're much much bigger but these are just um, nice and small just to finish off that little detail that you need then here you've got 12 printed tags so you've got a variety of designs so you get three of each and you've got this kind of ornate kind of design which is great to stamp a sentiment in and then just pop that onto your present if you're wrapping something or you could put this onto a card but you get the plain with that just kind of peachy colour frame and then you've got that rose gold glittery frame and then you get three in the oval it's beautiful glitter that one and it's all non-shared as well there's no glitter anywhere and then you've got that kind of peachy creamy color there as well I mean you could layer them up so you could have that one behind stamp on this one and have that kind of poking out the bottom which looks nice but you get 12 of the tags and then you get these ones here and these are metal embellishments they always do lovely metal embellishments and these are little snowflakes I'm just seeing yeah that's just the wire through there so you can just pop some thread through there and kind of tie them with a little bow or you could put some hot glue behind that and attach it to your card but again you could just you know have one of them hanging off the tag which would look really cute you get eight snowflake charms like I said they are yep they're metal little charms they're really cute and then you get your sentiment toppers now there are there is also some ribbon and something else but it's sold out already so but this is little yeah little toppers you got festive love cozy little christmas merry christmas warm wishes warm wishes cozy little christmas and then festive love and merry so they're basically they repeat but on different shapes so that's the repeat there that's a repeat that's a repeat oh they're the same but then that's different as well <laughs> so yeah eight sentiment toppers and then the papers the best bit for me is the papers really really lovely i've already opened up the sides and had to look through so i'm going to pop it on its side here so yeah you get 
uh, 36 sheets, three sheets of 12 designs, acid and lingam free, so perfect for your scrapbook layouts, and 150 GSM. So, and I always use the front as well because you can use, you know, that there would be a matte layer, you know, on a, a landscape kind of card. And this, oh, actually, you've got all of this, sorry, that's not stuck over the top. So use this, it makes a lovely background. Okay, so we have this gorgeous rose gold star paper there. Then you have this one here. Isn't that beautiful? Cozy little Christmas, festive love. So basically it's these, these sentiments that they've put on here. But that's wrapping paper for me. That would wrap something really, you know, obviously something a bit smaller, but you could stick two of them side by side. You know, if I take that one off there, you could certainly stick them together and then obviously wrap something a bit bigger, but that's, yeah, I love that. And then, I know some of you would, if you have this, you'll probably just stroke it or buy two and have one that you just keep and look at and the other one you use. And you have this one here, which has that sparkle through some of the stars. Really, really pretty. Look at this one. Oh. Again, it's all non-shed and it's, it's, it's tactile, you know, you can feel. It's almost like felt. It kind of reminds me of that felt that you used to have as children. You know, you'd kind of create little scenes. So you've got three of those and then you've got that nice background one there. See, when I look at it in the monitor, I just see lots of diamonds. But then when I look down at it, I see the snowflakes in the hexagons. It's kind of plays with my eyes, this one. So then you have your Christmas trees. Quite a contemporary style there. And then some more snowflakes with that pinky background. This is nice, again, if you want to do a festive scene or maybe you're doing like a shadow box or a diorama card you know this could be your background and then you build up your scene in front of it, it would look really nice and then you have this one here with the two deers kissing and these are great to fussy cut and you could do some pretty cards and things with those and then you have a nice background there with just different christmas trees and some stars and then I believe the last one is again just another background one, which is again, it's very modern kind of style. I guess they're trying to look like maybe Christmas trees or mountains or something, or they could just be little arrowheads. It's entirely up to you. Oh no, sorry, there is one more. It's another pretty one there. Really nice. So that is the pattern that will also come in eight by eight. I don't think there's six by six, but again, check the links below because you may prefer a smaller size. But that's what I have from for the new Winter Sparkle Dovecraft collection. Then I have these two new first edition paper pads. So these are the 8x8s. I believe they also come in 12x12. 12 12. I'm not sure about 6x6, 6 6. but again, check the links that I have shared. So I've got the North Star and Almost Christmas. So we'll start with the Almost Christmas. This is very much my kind of colours. I'm that traditional Christmas kind of girl. And there are lots of papers in here that you could use throughout the year. You don't just have to use them for Christmas. You have 48 sheet pad, three sheets of 16 designs. They're 200 GSM, so they're that good weight where it's, it's in between that paper and cardstock, you know, so you can use this to make envelopes with, and it's great for mats and layers, but you could also make 3D projects, gift bags, and things like that from it as well. So it's a heavyweight cardstock they've got there, and then it's acid and lingam free. So first of all, you have also you get one canvas design, two spot UV designs and two glitter designs and then the rest of the pad is your double sided. So this one here will be the canvas and you can feel it, it's got a lovely texture to it and this is that lovely plaid detail so like I said straight away you've got a paper here that isn't just Christmassy. Then you have this one here which is the spot UV so you can see there you've got those little glittery areas and you've got little gift tags here in the mistletoe. And then you have another one here, that's gorgeous. What a lovely background paper that one is. And you've got your holly and berries there. And then you have this one here, which has that lovely shine on the, yeah, it's on the robins and it's also on the poncettias. So they're in like little wreaths. Again, you can fussy cut them, use a circle punch. You get some nice little designs there. And you have this one, that gorgeous. And this, you could do lovely strips and have them at the bottom or the tops of your cards, or just keep it as it is, as a nice background. Then you've got this one here again, great for those backgrounds. And this would look great if you're gonna make any of my 3D, like the, oh, my focus has just gone there. I didn't like that, so we're gonna quickly go past that one, but you could use that for my she shed. You know, if you want to create that wood effect as the, the wall or the wallpaper and things like that, this is great. Then you've got this one here, with that beautiful wreath. 
pine cones, the bows and the robins. And you have that one there, that lovely, that rich background. And you could add glitter to this as well, you know, use like Nouveau drops and things like that. This is beautiful, love that Ponsettia. Can't wait to start using this. Oh, and now we're on to the double-sided. So this is the start of the double-sided. So there's that one there. So they complement each other well. And then you have this one with this one. Again, you could use that all year round along with this. Then you have this one here and it's got kind of elements throughout the pad there. You've got the robin with the mistletoe, then you've got the wreath and you've got those baubles. And then there's the background, that lovely sky there. But again, they work really well together. And then you have that one again, you could easily fussy cut. And then that's the background, which is the sheet music. And then this one, love that one. Again, some really nice winter masculine makes I can see with this one. Look at that, how nice are those two together? Oh, I just can't wait to start making all my gift boxes and stuff. And look at that, I love a candy cane. So that's really nice. And that works nice with this one as well. And then you've got this one here. Nice little sentiments with that checked plaid kind of print there. And then this is kind of a, yes, you've got your pine cones there and like the sprigs. And then this side, it's like a wood grain with then it's, it's kind of snowflakes. So it's a nice, you know, wintry background you've got there. And then that's the end of that one. It's lovely, really, really pretty paper pad. So I'm looking forward to using that one. So that's almost Christmas. And then I have the lovely 8x8 North Star paper pad. This again is printed with soy inks and you get three sheets of 16 designs, acid and lingam free, 200 GSM, and you get one glittered design, two foiled designs, two pearlescent designs, and then half is double-sided. So, first of all, we have this beautiful one here. It's actually a watercolour background and then it's got these silver kind of snowflakes or stars on the front. This one here, love this one. Look at that, all those lovely shiny snowflakes and then you have this one with the stars catch the light there and they're glittery those ones again it's all non-shed this is a pearlescent one can you see that lovely shine again it's like a watercolor background with white snowflakes over the top and this would be nice throughout january and february just to create some really nice winter themed cards then you've got this one which is kind of a watercolor but it almost looks like it's been done using alcohol inks because this here these droplets are the this is what you get when you drip the solution into the alcohol inks so that's what i'm thinking that's been done with really nice and that's a pearlescent one and then look these adorable penguins aren't they lovely <laughs> so so sweet so you get the penguins and then the next one i think is the, yeah the polar bears look at that you got the little baby bear as well. <laughs> Love them. Then you have this one here, which is, this is a chart. This is, well, hang on a minute. It says the chart of the South Circumpolar regions. Circumpolar regions? Circumpolar regions. Yeah, I think I'm saying it correctly. Showing the discovery track. T no, <laughs> I'm not even attempting it. I'm not, I'm not attempting it. That, that's what it says <laughs> it's nice <laughs> yeah I'll let you guys look at that one but again great background ones there um, mini lap and um, scrapbook layouts as well because I know lots of people like to do 8x8 size you can get the little albums as well that will fit those in really nicely this is a very subtle it's almost distressed and then it has it looks like the snowflake yeah it's the snowflake stars kind of throughout there again very very subtle but very nice then these are the start of your double sided, so that's the double sided of that one, which looks like a very, very lighter version of that one that I shared, said about with the alcohol inks. I think that's what that is. Then you got this one, love that, with the snow. Really nice, that would look lovely in a shadow box with acetate, with actual faux snow in it as well, like a shaker card. That's, that would, yeah, I like that one. That's kind of like a, almost looks like brush strokes, but then it kind of looks like wood grain as well, so a bit of both. And then look, this. I don't know if it is birch trees, kind of looks like them. Uh, lovely. Just start again, you could create a really nice diorama, you know, layered card with that as your background. And then the other side you get that kind of swirl, like marble effect. And then you have this one. Again, just really nice backgrounds. So that's great with the polar bears there, just a repeat pattern. And then this one is a bit grungy, so you've got the snowflakes and then you've got stars. 
Again, great for masculine makes as well. You got that one there. The snowflakes. Oh, I like that. Isn't that lovely? That's really, really nice. Yeah, do like that one a lot. And then this one again, a bit grungy because it's kind of patchy in places with the stars. And then this one's kind of like a paintbrush effect again. It would look lovely on some nice summer kind of beach kind of cards as well. It's kind of that white wash. That's what I'm thinking. I like that. And then you've got more of this blue kind of snowflakes. And then that's a sweet scene with the polar bear, the house and the trees. And then that kind of moss green background there. And then that's the end of that one. Really nice. Love it. And this one, they're both, but bring back in this one here, different illustrators that have done these ones. But it hasn't got their names. It used to have the names below. I recognise both of them from doing previous ones. I'm pretty sure she works for, I want to say Trimcraft, but it's the craft label. Um, I'm just trying to have a look on the back here. No, nope, I can't see anything. I imagine maybe it says to scan with your smartphone. That might give you some information. But I'm pretty sure I've, I recognise I've, when I've been up there, because I've visited there a couple of times. I'm sure I'm wanting to say that's where I've seen her, but then maybe I've seen her just through social media. <laughs> um, but anyway, it, it does show you who's created these wonderful pads. So once again, that's almost Christmas and the North Star. And then I've got quite a lot of Simply Creative products. So what I'm going to do first of all is start with the stamps. So I went a bit click happy. I do like my stamps and I like sentiment stamps. Now what I didn't realise is there's two Noels or Noel and <laughs> one's a bit smaller than the other. So depending on, you know, if you prefer slightly larger sentiments, I mean, it's not too much in the size. One's obviously taller and shorter. The other one is longer and not so tall. <laughs> but anyway, choose what you wish. You have them there. That one has like a festive holly leaf and berry through the middle. And then this one here, obviously it just has some dots. And then we have, let's start with these ones, the larger ones here. I love these, just great for putting on to just a piece of white card, cut it with a circle die and you have your gift tag. So do not open until the 25th of December. Then we've got this one here, Happy Christmas. I do have some of the Dovecraft large sentiments, which I love and I use them, they're timeless and these will go in with them because oh yeah, you see me use these a lot. So these are the ones that you're gonna see me use on a lot of my Christmas makes coming up. So again, lovely big Happy Christmas. And then you also have Season's Greetings. And then you have Winter Wishes. That was nice because you get the little snowflakes around there as well. So that's those slightly larger ones and I guess if you're looking these up just type in clear stamp and then I imagine you'll get all the different ones so winter wishes seasons greetings um, they've just got that one as the 25th of December and that one is Noel and then here again these ones are just clear stamps so you just put in this one's Christmas sentiments and you get peace on earth and joy to the world this one's lovely look at that cute snow globe I do like that lovely bear I think the one I had last year was the top half of his head and now they've got the full body. Very, very sweet. Then you get your reindeer. Then we've got this one. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Lovely little gift tag there. Then you have Christmas kisses. I don't have one of them. I do not have, not, well, might have the sentiment in a different kind of layout, but I don't have it in a nice big size like that, so it's nice. And then you get a cute Christmas tree as well. And then that Noel. There are lots more. These are just the ones that I selected that I thought, you know, I would enjoy and they're more my kind of style. But um, there is loads within the Simply Creative range. Oh, and one more I've missed. You get the stocking. I think that's a super cute, nice size Christmas stock in there. And then I picked up a few dies. Again, there are loads of dies, but these are just some of the ones that I thought I would enjoy more. And this is the dinosaur. The dinosaur with the present and the hat. So what I will do is die cut it in green, then I'll die cut just the section of the hat in red, and then I'll die cut the present in maybe red and green as well, and just paper piece it together. And I think that's gonna look super cute. Then you've got the little bear here with some wobbly star like headband on. Um, yeah, it just says bear. And then you have another present here. So again, I will cut that in a few different colors and paper piece it back together. And then you have a little snow globe with the Christmas tree. And then you have this one here, which says Season's Greetings. It's like a little tag. You can see that's how it looks there. 
So those are just some of the dies. Like I said, there are tons on there. Then I selected some wooden sentiments. Now you're gonna recognize these ones because these were out last year and I used so many of them. They are wonderful toppers. I'll take one out to show you, bring it up there. So this one has the holly leaf in the corner. So that says you're a happy Christmas. And then that's the same, but that one says Merry Christmas. So this is silver and the other one's the gold. But I used lots of them. I done a beautiful gift box and I done a really nice kind of little arrangement on the top and those were on there. I've used them on all kinds of different gifts last year. So have a look at my Christmas playlist from last year, or I think it might just be under one big playlist now, but you can get some ideas already on how I've used those. And then these ones were new and these are wooden sentiments. You get eight of them and they say Merry Christmas. But you can add your Versa fine, sorry, no, your Versa mark, and then you can sprinkle these with different coloured embossing powders and then just heat set them. You can also paint them as well. So, um, yeah, you can do quite a lot with them. But I just thought they were quite nice and you get eight there. And then I picked up, let's just do these all together. I'll do that one as well. So I got the felt poncettias. I thought they were nice for gift bags, tags, things like that. Then I got some tartan bows. I don't have any tartan bows and they're just adorable. They are so cute. So you'll see me adding those to different makes. And then look, really, really cute little bows. So your mini gift bows. But how nice they're gonna look on cards. So that's what I will probably do with those. Because believe it or not, I still do have a fair amount of cards to make. I'm giving out a lot this year, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to making a lot more. So I've got those Merry Christmas, really traditional, and they're gonna go nice with the almost Christmas papers there. And then these ones actually will go really nice with, especially the silver ones. Look, the silver Merry Christmas ones will go lovely with these papers. So I've got some of the packaging on that one. Let's take that out. The last one left in that pack. There we go. So you get your gold and silver or you get your red and green. And they're just sentiment toppers. And then look, love these ones. So you've got your felt ones you prefer that and you could probably add glitter to that but then you've also got these ones here the glittered poncettias so that is some more again this is all under the simply creative brand and then i got some more of these so i actually had this one last year and these are your gem stickers these look lovely stuck onto acetate really really nice but then these were two i don't know if they were new i can't remember seeing them last year but i, I didn't have these ones so you've got your robin you've got your rudolph and then you have your father christmas i do have a tutorial where i made some very over the top kitsch style gift tags and if i remember i'll link it up here but otherwise just type in gift tags mixed up craft and you will see those come up but that used the santa and the ones from last year but this time you could obviously add those ones in and they do have all those past ones still on there as well so they're really nice just something a little bit different and then this was something again that i hadn't seen before and you've got a mix in fact i'll bring in this one here so this is craft dovecraft junior which I've not ever had anything of before. And then here you have the Simply Creative. So, but they are the same thing. So these are foam stickers and these are glittered foam stickers. But I guess these have got more of a childlike. And obviously now we have the lovely Charlie, who is part of our family, who's my beautiful nephew, who has just started to roll over, which is just adorable. But I've also got my best friends, little boy Ralph, and some of my other friends as well. They've still got young children. So I just sort of have, I don't have a lot of kiddie stuff in my stash. So I saw these because they'd be nice to do when I do their presents. And um, you just get, I think it is just one foam. Let's have a little look. Yeah, so it's just one piece of foam. And then they are thick foam stickers. But how nice is that to put on a card or to put on a gift tag? And he's got little googly eyes. You can see that it's very, very thick. So it's just something different. I don't have anything like this. So I wanted to give them a go. I love the, um, the thick glittery stars there. I mean, you could use those on that lovely North Star paper pad again. And these, the little candy canes and that holly would you know, work really well with that as well. But I just thought they were very, very cute. So you get, I think there was more as well within the junior range. I mean, this isn't just the only three things. So have a look if you are doing a lot of more younger children makes and check them out. Isn't that lovely? I love the tree. And then these here are puffy stickers. 
So just fun. I actually like to put these on the backs of envelopes. So when I've sealed them, I'll either put a wax seal, and I'm going to be doing a video of me sealing all of my Christmas cards when I come to that point. But these are nice to put on the, you know, for the kids and stuff, put these on the backs. They're, they're just a nice little extra. Or on the front where like the stamp would go if you're hand delivering them, you could have this as your little stamp on the envelope. I think it's a really nice extra touch. Um, and then these ones, just bring them up a bit closer. You've got all the different trees there which are really cool. That one's very droopy. <laughs> it always looks like sweater or jumper kind of arms. That's what I'm seeing there. But I like all of these, they're nice. And then here you get the elf, two elves and two Santa faces and then all those glittery stars. So, okay, so that is everything. Thank you again to Craft Label, AKA Trimcraft. It was so kind of you to send me all of this product. You know how much I always appreciate it. And I can't wait to start making some really fun projects and sharing them all with you. As promised, if you visit Craft Label, you can get an extra 15% off by using my code. It's valid until the 31st of December. Now it's not a stackable code, so you can't add it if something else is on there and it might be a two for one offer or it's already got a discount, you won't be that won't be included. So only on full price product, you'll be able to receive the 15% and it's a one time only code as well. So if there is a few things you want, I would say get it all in one go um, because you won't be able to get the 15% off afterwards. But the code that you need to put in is CL and then SAM15. So I'll put the code up, it will pop up on the screen anyway. And I will also link it in the description box so you can take advantage of that. And uh, yeah, maybe you want to treat yourself to some of the product that I've shared today. So look out for future tutorials because this is pretty much the papers now and the bits and pieces that you're going to see. I'm going to start pulling out all of my Christmas stuff from last year. So it's kind of like I'm having a bit of a festive day today <laughs> and I'm um, just rearranging bits and pieces. Might even put some music on or a movie. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you again, Trimcraft, and I will be back. Oh, craft label, and I'll be back again very soon with another video. Bye.